you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of a shorter, more precise version of the 10 best booty glute exercises that I did, but I wanted to whittle them down into the 5 best glute exercises that should be in anybody's glute training program or anyone's training in general. The reason that I have chosen these five specific exercises is because for me personally, they hit my glutes so much in more ways that I can even explain. And the reason that I've said personally to me because every single individual is different. For some people, they might absolutely hate Deficit reverse lunges, which is one of the exercises where I massively, massively feel it in my glutes. And this is a stretcher exercise, and I just think it is a wonderful glute exercise. Then also I have in there goblet squats with a sumo stance. So the reason for the sumo stance to me is when I do normal goblet squats, I solely feel it on my quads, on the front of my body, because it's squat in general, you do feel it more in your quads, you activate your quads, so by adopting a wider stance and pointing the toes out, I do hit my glutes out a little bit more, but again, for some people that might not work, and then for sumo deadlifts, you might feel it in your back and not in your glutes at all, so there's loads of little things that you need to play around with and tweak with yourself, and this is coming from me, who has trained for the past three years, and the last two years, obviously very, very experimented quite a lot with my glute training because I've understood that you cannot just solely copy what someone else does, whether it's down to the frequency of the training. So I do three lower body sessions a week. Um, you could do six glute sessions a week if you wanted to, but they just have to predominantly be pumper exercises, which is like your lateral band walks, your glute bridges, your frog pumps. You can do those six times a week, but with like your stretches and activators, so your hip thrusts, your sumo deadlifts, your barbell lunges, your squats, they're more so you need like at least two days rest in between. So the frequency might be different for people, the volume might be different for people. Some people might absolutely love high rep ranges and some people love low rep ranges. So you need to find what is suitable for you, which is what I've done over the past three years. But the reason that I have made this video, put them into one, put them into a video for you is just because I think you really, really need to try these exercises, maybe mix them up a little bit in terms of like your stance, your foot position. I'll talk over the exercises at the end on the video and why I do them the way that I do do them just in case you want to pick up some tips. But in your glute training and to develop and to grow your glutes, I think these exercises are a absolute must. The one thing that I haven't actually included in this video is any band work. Now, even though I absolutely love using a band for training glutes because it places double duty onto the glutes so they do have to work harder because your legs are being pulled in and you need to abduct them out. So obviously, it does hit your glute medius quite a lot, which is the side muscle of your glutes just here. I'll pop a picture on the screen for you. The only reason I've not included those, I think I'm going to do a whole separate video on bands and the My Coach School myself, we are bringing out our own bands which I have tried and tested for months, literally trying to find you the perfect band in terms of like the resistance, what you can use for glute activation and finishes, but then what you can use for like heavy hip thrusts, leg press, squats and things like that. So I'm going to give you a, another video all about the bands and where to use them, why I use them, the best bands ever. So exciting. But without further ado, let's jump into the five exercises. Your first exercise is, of course, the barbell hip thrusts. Now, obviously, there's loads of variations of hip thrusts that you can do. And I'm going to pop my video in the description box of my top hip thrust variety videos, but this exercise in general will solely target your glutes. Yes, it might target your hamstring and quads a little bit, but that is normal. It obviously just depends on your foot position. So I have done barbell hip thrusts for maybe the past year and a half to two years now, and it has completely changed my glute training. And I've gone from lifting around 70 kg to 150 kg so it is an exercise that you can really really load heavy 
Your second exercise is barbell sumo deadlifts. Now, the reason that I think, and in general, sumo deadlifts do target your glutes more is obviously because you have a much wider stance than a conventional deadlift, and also you have your pose, your toes pointed out. So this does target your glute max a lot more as you are externally rotating your feet rather than it just solely hitting your back. Now, with sumo deadlifts, it did take me quite a long time to get the technique right, but once you do master it, they are a fantastic glute exercise. Dumbbell sumo goblet squats. So like I said before, with squats in general, they do actually activate your quads more. Hence why again, I've actually gone for the sumo stance. So as you can see, it's a really, really wide stance. I'm still going straight up and down and sitting back into the squat. But again, toes are pointed out and the wider stance means that it will target your glutes more. This can be a little bit uncomfortable on your hips for some people. So just be careful that if it hurts, don't do it. Just do a normal goblet squat. But for me, it targets my glutes more than just doing a conventional goblet squat. I am such a huge fan of deficit reverse lunges. And one of the main reasons as well is because when you're doing unilateral work, so single leg movements, it can actually help identify muscular imbalances in general and what the deficit lunge actually does it gets your hip pass parallel but then also for the glutes you have to kind of step back up into the movement rather than just doing a regular lunge and they usually can't be loaded as much as a normal reverse lunge but that's not really an issue because they're such a good exercise for people who have bad backs and kind of really bad erector spinae because they don't apply the same compressive and I guess sheer force that a deadlift or a squat does but it will massively massively work your legs and glutes. Last but not least the cable kickback. Now I feel like this is a favorite glute exercise for a lot of people but they also do it wrong because it will target their back and their hamstrings more so as you can see I'm quite low down on the cable but I just sweep my leg back and I don't go to the extent where I hyperextend my lumbar spine so you can't see at all that I'm arching my lower back it's all pushing through the heel and just extending that hip backwards so the legs always in a straight line and I've just found that this massively massively does work my glutes and I don't go heavy at all really on it I am also go for the rep ranges of three lots of 12 to 15 reps and it works wonders for your glutes really really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you do it absolutely means the world to me so i can keep producing content for you and i really hope you like it please drop a comment below of what other videos you want me to do whether it's like a glute specific whether it's other training elements whether it's nutrition life life. I don't know, but just let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!